it's really important while your child is playing some dog that they're actually practicing the skills that are relevant for their needs. Mm. When you log on, you will see the skill that your child is practicing here. If you feel this is too easy or too difficult and you'd like to change it, you simply click on practicing and it takes you to the screen where you or they can now control the skills that are set. Down the side, we have the subject that your child is using. So in this case, it's maths. We are training and here it says choose skills. On this page, you can now select which skill you would like them to use. So for instance, if they are in year two, you can click on year two, we can deselect year six, and you can also select the topic that you feel would be most beneficial for them to practice right now. By clicking on that, it will show you all of the relevant statements that are in the national curriculum for that year group. On the right hand side, we've got some colorful squares. If they're gray, it means your child hasn't started that skill at all. If they're amber, it means they've begun that skill, but they haven't yet completed it. And if that square is green, it means they have secured that skill. When your child secures a skill for an animal, what they're actually doing is showing that they have mastered or achieved a skill within the curriculum for their year group. There may be occasions where you want to select more than one year group. For instance, time is often quite a tricky subject for children to grasp. And it could be that your child is in year four, but they're not ready for those year four learning statements yet. I just need to deselect addition. And now I can see all of the statements that are relevant for time. I can then select the ones that I would like to choose. And as soon as I select them, they appear at the bottom. When you're happy with the statements that you've selected, you simply press next. We can now see this bar at the top. It's telling me at the moment to revise skills because I have already got several that I need to practice. If you would like to see what your child is achieving, you click on this bar and it will show you the progress. I can now see that the skill that's set for me is time sequences. I can also see, if I click on whole year, that at the moment I haven't yet achieved any skills. Your child will probably have a graph showing dots and each of those dots represents a skill. It's so important that your child is being challenged because what we often find is that children are very, very happy to play some dog and earn coins if it's easy. So it's really important that you make sure that the skill set is appropriate. And if your child hasn't played regularly, then some dog will assume that they are on the skills they were previously and it will reset. Every time they use some dog, it will reset to that previous point of learning that some dog thinks your child is at. So you do have to go in and you do have to show the filters Make sure that the appropriate year group is ticked and the skills are relevant for your child's learning right now.